Hi, this is Pavel with a Visual Basic exercise from the book uh, Introduction to Programming using Visual Basic. This one is chapter 7 and this is the programming project number 2 called uh, ISBN Validator. We are to write a program that accepts an ISBN type number including hyphens as input. We will calculate the sum and tell if it is a valid ISBN. The number is valid if it is divisible by, uh, by 11. So if you can divide all that number by 11, you got a valid uh, ISBN. And the numbers are added together as follows. You will, we will multiply the first number by 10, the second number by 9, the third one by 8, and we will add them all together. This is the formula. Uh, so uh, then the last number can be a digit or a letter X. If it, if it is an X, then it represents digit 10. All right, so um, here's my uh, form. It's very simple. I used a masked uh, text box. I'll show you my property, the mask. It accepts only numbers except the last uh, character, which could be the X. So that could be also, it could be a string. But I, if I run it, I cannot, uh, I cannot enter any uh, other characters other than numbers except again for the last one I can do any number or letter okay so um, here's the form the Xbox this is this will simply say valid ISBN yes or no and a button that checks it and that all the functionality will be in the button so I'll just double click it and here we uh, have the event handler for the button and I'll start coding in it. So uh, first I'm going to create an array. Uh, I'll just call it multiples because remember uh, this is an array. Uh, it will hold the numbers 10, 9, 8, 7 and so forth. Those will be the numbers that we are using to multiply the digits of the ISBN. So I'll initialize it to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. We don't need to do 1. And um, now let's get the ISBN. We need, it's going to be the array. It will have all the, uh, all the numbers again. It's, it has uh, nine numbers plus the last one, which could be a le letter or a number. So it's one, two, three, and then uh, six numbers in between. Okay, so uh, let's do the input string. So dim input as string. And I named the uh, math text box as mtbisbn. So this is our input. This is what we will collect. I need an index that's for the for the loop as integer and the sum that will be the, the sum of all the numbers with the multiplied already multiplied by our multiples from the array so dim uh, sum as integer so first thing first I'm gonna take care of the last digit which can be a number or x all right so if our input and the substring and we are this is the substring of 12 this is the position of 12 and the length is 1 so 12 is the index on the strings basically that's the last character of the ISBN and we are co collecting one digit, so that's why one is the length of the string that we are collecting. But I'm gonna also do two upper. So if that, if all of this equals x, then it's okay. I think I forgot some bracket. Uh, yeah. If substring, there's no need for that. If uh, substring 12, 1 to upper equals x, 
then uh, what's gonna happen we will remember over here if it is an X we represent it as digit uh, 10 so uh, ISB and the last uh, the last letter or the last number of the ISBN uh, array will now be 10 and we, we can add right now some to uh, the ISBN the value of 10 well I could just type 10 but I could, you know instead of ISBN 10 I could do 10 but I'm just gonna do it this way now else if uh, is uh, numeric the last di if the last digit is a numeric if it's not X again the this is the input that substring and the last digit of the length one because it's only one digit then our ISBN ISBN uh, 9 which is the index of 9 which is the last uh, number on the array equals and we convert it to integer so input that oh why isn't it working input dot substring 12 it will become our valid input and again we can do sum plus equals ISBN 9 so basically taking off the last digit f first so that's why we can add it directly to the uh, sum because it's only gonna be multiplied by one the last digit is multiplied by one so you know it's it's the digit itself so if it's 10 uh, 1 times 10 is 10 so we can we don't have to perform any multiplication we can add it directly okay so that's that else if it is uh, not x and if it's or if it's not a number because remember the last digit can be either so in our form it, we have to make sure that it is either digit or x all the others we don't have to they're, they're gonna be digit because we have it masked in our text box that way so if it's not then we will display a message box uh, you entered an invalid character and that's all and we don't we don't go anywhere else we will exit sub at this point if it's an invalid character we're not going to proceed with the uh, validation with the calculations anymore we will exit and wait until user enters valid character so that's the last digit so now I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna loop through the ISBN including hyphens which I know because the way it is formatted which are uh, elements one remember this is a digit the first digit is element zero and the next one is the hyphen itself so that's index one or element one the next one is uh, element four man that's not really all because the last one we don't because we already took care of the last number so one and four are the spots for the hyphens so we have to take care of that and we will end uh, we will add digit only in other words we will not do anything with the hyphens at all into ISBN array okay so um, again remember at this point the last digit or X in the ISBN was already taken care of at this point okay so all we have to do is now the remaining digits all right so for uh, I as integer integer We'll start from zero because that's the first element to ten. All right, ten because we have those two uh, hyphens that we are actually including in the loop, but we are 
not going to take care of, we are not going to include them in the array of the ISBN so if within the loop if I doesn't equal one and I is not four actually not equal but if the in if the I the index is uh, one or four or if it's not one or four because those are the hyphens then we can convert the input to an integer and add it to our uh, ISBN so our ISBN of the index uh, the I equals and it's an integer and just like before we'll do the input dot substring and the substring is the position of i and one again the length is one and the i is the start index that's the one digit that we are taking care of at that time so uh, now we will add that to our sum but we add it multiplied all right we, that's why we have the array is multiplied we have to multiply with the corresponding number so we will do the multiplies of the i uh, times the ISBN of the i okay so uh, ba basically it will take a it will multiply if it's the first one it will 10 times whatever the value is uh, in the digit one then nine times the value of digit two but I'm not going to actually be using I I'm gonna be using index uh, let me just uh, I is the index of the uh, of the digits the position of the digit but this I'm gonna change this to index I'm gonna uh, the substring is i, that's correct, and uh, multiplies index as well as index. The reason is we are looping uh, 10 times, right? But that's because we have those two hyphens. If we, if we use i, at the end, it, the i would equal to 10, and we would be out of bounds. That's why we have a separate index for these uh, these two values, because they the the number of elements in these arrays is not the same. It's two less minus those two hyphens. So uh, over here we will after each loop we will increment the index by one. Except I forgot n. I misspelled it, so it's index. So remember, we are looping 10 times because we're taking care of all the digits and the hyphens. However, we are only collecting, uh, uh, we, we, we don't collect the uh, hyphens themselves. But the i itself increments all the way to 10. So when we would try to check the in ISBN of uh, index of 10, we would get out of bounds because there's only 9 of them. All right, so uh, that's why we have a separate index for the ISBN array and the multiplies array. The ISBN array and the multiplies array actually uh, match. They're the same. They're the same length or the same count. So that takes care of the uh, how we added sum. Sum we multiplied by the uh, corresponding value in the multiples array and we multiply the corresponding value in the ISBN array with it. So now we'll simply check if the sum is divisible by 11, Then, because that's what it says, that if it is, then we have a valid uh, ISBN number. So our text output text equals, I'll just output yes, it is a valid ISBN, else I put that text obviously it will equal to no all right so let's test that that should be all okay so here I have my form now if I run 
all ones, then it should say yes. And it does. Because if you remember, we multiplied by 10, by 9, by 8. But if these are all ones, so basically we can just add them together. So it's uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. And there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ah, oh, jeez, I forgot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, but the last digit is... Uh, hold on a second. I, I got it wrong. It multiplies by uh, like 10 plus 9 plus 8. Like 10 times, nine, 10 times 1, 9 times 1, 8 times 1 and so forth. So basically it is... 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 and plus 1 it's 51 that's not really right is it i think i miscalculated it uh, like let's try again 10 plus 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 yeah it's 55 obviously and divide by 11 you get 5 so it is divisible by 11, it is a valid uh, uh, ISBN. If I change the last digit to 2, it should say no, because now the sum is not divisible by 11. Now if this is x, so that would be 10. Let me see how that works. What, what do I get? I get 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7, 6 plus... 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 and plus 10 that's 64 obviously that's not divisible by 11 but uh, 66 would be so if this one which is multiple of 2 says so this one I think if, if I change it to 2 would it would it work uh, Why can I do that? Uh, uh, it seems like it's froze on me. Uh, okay, so let me. Oh, there you go. If I change it to two, now it should the sum should be sixty six, and it says yes because remember x now equals s ten. Now if I enter lower case x, that's okay because remember we are doing the two upper over here. But if I don't enter X, but let's say E, I get a message, you enter an invalid character. So, there you have it. It's fairly straightforward. Again, we create a multiples, because that will correspond with the each digit uh, of the array in the ISBN. So, the element 0 corresponds with element 0 in multiples, element 1 corresponds with element 1 in multiples. So it's easy to just loop and multiply each other because they, their indexes are the same. Alright, so I hope this was helpful and explained a few things I'm hoping. And uh, if you liked it, like the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Uh, also, the code will be available for download if you need it. Uh, although this is short, you can just type it yourself. But uh, anyway, I'll see you next video. Take care.